Hey there, it's me Gazera again. Welcome to episode 8 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. I've been working on the uh, the wand recharge room and gathering nodes with the new staves I've built. These are mostly from the Middle Earth dimension. Turns out when I have all of my imp proper implements, I can capture like 8 nodes at a time. Which seems to be a lot. I don't really know. See here, fire staff. Yeah, it's like when you look at the, the capacities for the staves I for the staves I built: two fifty, one seventy five, one eighty seven, seventy five. I have another couple in a nearby inventory. But yeah, I would like to fill this with all kinds of the node stabilizers. So I can just recharge these things super, super quick. Oh, and speaking of recharging them quick, I threw down a couple of Torturinos, which seems to work. Because when you turn, take them down, then the um, the twinkling effects on the nodes um, reduce in speed. So that's fun. Now, what I'm really looking for is something to do with my um, newfound power aside from, um, just building up, gra grabbing a bunch of nodes. I'm thinking right now about Thomic Horizons, which is supposed to be, um, like an expansion on current, um, uh, abilities, like lenses for the, um, for the goggles, that sort of thing. I don't know yet. Um... I'm also going to start make I'm also going to make a um, set of uh, magical clothing which I've unlocked in the book. Uh, I had originally wanted to get into Golemancy, but it was a lot more complicated. It involved like the infusion altar. I didn't have one set up yet. I didn't have all the resources yet. So Golemancy is still a thing I'm going to get into. I'm also going to start getting into, probably starting getting into uh, lightning craft, which involves the taming of lightning. And one final thing before I end this particular scene, I've built a mysterious cage for mysterious reasons. Stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what this is all about. Well, I got to making some... Uh, Minor adjustments to my wardrobe here. I look every inch of the wizard. Pretty. Like I, I built the Thaumian robes. Um, and for my footwear, I'm using um, long fall boots from the Portal Gun mod. Looking pretty spiffy. Problem is, I don't think you can dye these. Otherwise, it'd probably go like black or blue, red. I don't know. Purple's not really the only thing normally, but. I think it's pretty good. So, I'm thinking about going into Thonk Horizons after all. I have plenty of like research points and resources right now. So that's going to work out. Um, what I've done with the Fire Staff is I it's my official like Fireball Staff. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to look into Atomic Horizons and be right back. Well, I'm looking into um, Atomic Horizons. I've made a few of the lenses here. I've made the Kirlian lens, um, the arcane, the basic night vision lens, and the scholar's lens. This one lets you see living and undead creatures through walls and stuff. This one is just night vision except underwater, except when underwater, and this one, uh, it automatically scans things like a, th like a thermometer does, whatever you look at. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have my ice staff, which will be fun. The fire step is still pretty awesome.
except for like a few things. I mean, a few technological goods I've built. Thongcraft is pretty amazing when you get into it. I mean, Christ. Now, the final thing I've seen in... So, like, there's also some um, stuff about, like, double... Like, you know, doubling your, your production. Like, seeds, you can get wheat. Like, you can grow your, your farm stuff alchemically. Um, you know, you can make... You can double your meat. Make meat into leather. But then you get into this part. It's some Frankenstein kind of crap. Yeah. It's kind of dis disturbing. Um, this lets you transmute shards, like balance shards, into standard shards. Um, this one, um, when a when a um, a, an ore node it's attached to gets to like one V, it emits a redstone signal. This I'm going to experiment with. It's um, dynamite that blows things up into um, essential shards. So that would be pretty awesome. And it says it would probably be, not be a good idea to subject an aura node to such forces. Well, come on, you gotta try it. A boat that can go on lava. Well, that's okay. Light, a uh, light um, sort of focus for staves. All kinds of good stuff. All in all, pretty worth it. I'll get into this at some time in the future. I really want to get this to work. It sounds kind of cool. All right, I'm back after doing some research on lightning craft, crafting the lightning guide, perusing it a bit. Um, and I built this. This is an infusion table. So it requires um, lightning energy that these lightning rods put into these lightning energy cells and that's transferred over to the lightning infusion table where you can make things like the basic sort of metal for this mod called electricium and beyond that you get to like skyfather stuff which is supposed to be like end game sort of stuff i can't wait to get there but linear plot twist it turns out i already ha had some electricium i had looted from other chests so i'm going to be messing with this i might build this hammer no, I don't think I have enough for the hammer, unfortunately. But when it comes to the um, infusion table, you can do stuff like you can make all kinds of like weapons and extra cool stuff. And all you need to do is wait for lightning. So I can't wait and try this out. Something I neglected to mention, this little thing, it's a golf club that when you activate it, it strikes you with lightning. That was the high-end one. Which um, you can only use like three times, apparently. It's pretty cool, though. Oh, I've also made some adjustments to my inventory. Namely, these two little guys, the, my inventory pets, and a fireproofing talisman. So pretty much in the nether, um, with this guy and this, I'm immune to fire and lava, and I can walk on the lava. And this will just re automatically repair things. Um, they, they each eat, um, different resources. The anvil eats iron nuggets and the magma cube eats nether ports. And I just get these like passive buffs. Pretty nice. Right now. So I figured out how to get this to work. Right now I'm making more electricium. I was having trouble with, um, the infusion table not having any power. I think if you place too many of the um, lightning cells adjacent to it, 
it will just say that it'll just say it has no power but that's fine I don't know what I'm gonna make with this um here you go yeah there you go um but that's cool I got another uh, mod working I found a kind of a cheesy workaround. So, by using the golf clubs, I can actually get like lightning to strike whenever I want. So that's what I've been doing. And I have a gigantic surplus of gold. So, like, check this out. Oh, there's virtually no power. Look at that. Now I've been getting electricity by the boatload now. Awesome. In the nether, with my new electricity hammer. Pretty sweet. It's killing things in like two hits. So I'm heading over to a nether fortress where I'm going to plant down a waystone so I can just teleport there at will. So far, so good. I'm in the market for an ender, sorry, a um, wither skeleton head. So I can build that snazzy infernal axe from Thawncraft. See how well that works out. Oh, here's a guy I can test the hammer on. Neat. And a robot. And that's just like the baseline, the easiest like material you can make with um, lightning craft. I am looking forward to trying this out for a while. All right, a couple of minor things before I end the episode. One, I'm going to start the groundbreaking on a brand new chamber accessible by these open box elevators. And I'm leaving a list of the mods in the mod pack in the comments below. Go ahead and check it out. If you have any recommendations for any mods, big, small, whatever, I especially want some niche mods that are a bit weird, then um, leave them below and I'll throw them in and see if they work. All right. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and have a good day.